Hello everyone, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia Legends. We are about to fight the asshole, but before we do that, we need to turn in the bounty that we completed. So that we can get paid for it and everything. Thank you, 20,000 gold. Stop doing that. We have no other info to sell, so we have done all, except for the last one, the civil in Bane, the supposed leader of an infamous clan of bandits. Nothing is known about his true identity. Nobody knows where he is from. Little is known about his fighting tactics other than he uses his use of explosive powder. Avoid this attack at all costs. Oh, I'm seeing that, this dude, uh, for a bit. Alright, so I believe we should have a black spot. Um. Du, 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 du. We do have a black spot. Yep. I believe this is the last fight then with the Astol. This is either the last fight or the next to last fight. In which we can probably do the last fight immediately after, or we need to beat Civil and Bane. I'm unsure. I think this is the last fight, but uh, let's hold on. I need. I want to go and save here first. <laughs> Everyone's full and shit, right? No, they're not. Okay, so I might as well just go to the end to make sure that everything is fine. Yeah, sixty gold. I couldn't care less. About that, got like over two hundred thousand, maybe more. Even I've got three hundred seventy thousand. Couldn't care less. <clears throat> All right. Do, do 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 do. Let's check items. I think I have everything. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Yep. Pretty sure that's all I'm gonna need. Okay, let's go and fight Piastle again. To you at her ship. Vice. This will be our final battle. Piastle, wait a second. There's something we need to tell you. Nothing can save you now. The only thing I... My desire is to watch Vice fall by my hand. That is all I live for. I will defeat you. The last seven years of my life rests on the outcome of this very battle. On guard. Guess it's the last fight then. I shall have my revenge at last. Okay. Uh, right, she's blue and we have green. Okay, what the fuck? Oh, let's resort to my thing. So if the enemy's got blue, we want green or purple. Purple is not good against green, but that's fine. So the rest of the party wants purple. Good to know. Um... So they want purple to make sure. Okay, so we're doing this same old strategy. We're gonna pop purple. We're gonna do Delta Shield. We're gonna pop purple, and you get to do whatever. Um, fucking Jesus. Um, most likely, I guess we'll pop with a speed on everyone and you do purple everyone's purple now good and then just a shield as usual nothing will change for every if we stop the strats then everything will crumble yo ow doesn't do a massive amount of damage, but it could have been doing a lot more if we hadn't had just a shield on. Let's try this. And whoosh! Now everyone is faster than them, most likely. Fucking hopefully. Okay, 
Good. We're gonna charge again. You're gonna do Delt Shield. You're gonna pop a Sacrum Crystal and you're gonna... It's very... It's a shame, but I have to. Oh, shit. Well, actually, doesn't matter. So, her basic attacks can obviously cause petrification. Now, I did equip a ring on um, Enrique that negates any adverse effects. I'm not sure if that counts against insta-kills, though, but I'm pretty sure, well, petrification, it should uh, stop. So, Enrique is safe from that bullshit, thankfully. But, you know. Okay, we got... They do 4, 5, so this will be 26. Uh, that is fine, so we target the Death Hound to Death Shield. Um, Bina, because of this. Uh, are you able to do Glyph of Might on Vice before? I don't know if she is faster than him. But it's fine, it doesn't matter, I'll do the damage anyways. think she's faster than him? I'm not sure. And right, comes Tempest Dance on Vice. He's got the highest defense, so that's something. Bam, and then another one. Yup. Whoosh! There we go. That's the full attack. Ah, oh, yes. I don't know if this... I don't know how this game works. If if the Glyph of Might has, have hits now like and, and he will do a buffed pirate's wrath i don't know if that is how this works or if it counts when you selected the move i feel like it should be you know after if it's put on before the move goes off but i don't know we take care of the dog first because he can heal and shit and he's got poison magic but i'm willing to say that the goth might probably was on but either way Yep, none, no effect on that one. Good. And then we go back, do everything else. You're doing... How much... Uh, we're gonna throw a... I think Enrique is fine. We're gonna throw a full heal on Vice <clears throat> to make sure. Because he lost more than a thousand. Well, you can't because I've protected myself. Fuck you. Hmm. That's a bit annoying. But it's fine. Let's try this. Pretty sure another Pyre's Wrath will kill the dog anyways. Whether he is healed or not. Uh, that's not... Enough. So we do Dust Shield. You're gonna do Focus again as well. To make sure we get more. Oh well. Just to make sure that we got enough and a little more. That's not gonna work unless Petrification. Nope. Good. Fucking fantastic. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she can Petrify right now. Oh, I think she could from the fucking second. Uh, fight and onwards, but I don't think it's a high chance of it happening. Pirate's Wrath, dog, die. Not the shield. Now, what do you what do you pull? Um, Buff of Might, in fact, also buffs defense, so I feel like if we put this on Yufina, because uh -uh. Uh, if she puts a fucking Tempest Dance on Fina, she's gonna be hurting a lot. But if she has Glyph of Might on, um, it won't hurt as much. Because it was, like, defense ups by 25%, I think. Defense and attack. So if we can put... Oh, dog died. But if we can put Glyph of Might on everyone, that would be swell. The attack, obviously, I don't really care too much for. It's not gonna do anything for her. 
so I... Okay, so how much do we... I don't even know how much we generate per turn. Let's see. If you throw down a Glyph of Might... On, like, Ica. Ica popped out the shield. You always put Sacrum Crystal and you do just the shield so we can heal up. <laughs> She is, in fact, yeah, faster than two of my party members. Let's try Even if they're sped up. It's a little scary, but it's fine. Here goes. Everything's going according to plan. As long as nothing weird happens. Like, her petrification is the only thing that can stop any of my plans, really. Uh, because that could completely screw me. Uh, because if she petrifies uh, Ica, that is the worst case, because then she could possibly get off a full team party, just full party wipe. And if she petrifies... well, she actually can't petrify Enrique, so ki killing someone through damage with Tempest Dance is not actually a problem. Because he will always be there to put on uh, just a shield, because he can't be petrified, so that's... Nice. Um, Alright, you're buffed now. Focus up. Let's see how much damage we can do against her. Did like four, three hundred, or three nine on the dog, but turn them. Nope, it's not happening. You're not gonna insta kill me. Five six. That's gonna take two more. Okay. Two more. What's we? How many like? Okay, we have two. I'm gonna... They, they're not needed to use here. Um, I can do Cutlass Fury. Let's see how much that does. Still, should still do a decent amount of damage. I mean, it's just I'm still buffed and everything. That should be one Fire Strath and then she's dead. One more. And she should be out. The next turn. Nope. This should be good. I could throw down a sack on Chris so it's fine. Fina. That wouldn't actually have been the worst because Fina is the only one. Fina and Vice kind of is the the ones that I can lose. Or at least not not at the same time. That would be terrible because because um, Enrique and Ike are kind of mis needed completely uh, to do stuff. You focus in case we don't kill her. Yeah. Alright. 
Tempestad is on Enrique. Yep. <clears throat> that is also fine. I have Glyph of Might at everyone, so... Also, just, just having the shield will guarantee a survival, so... Always kill her, please. Down you go. That was fun. Yes, fun is what I would call that. Mm -hmm. Bam! 12 magic experience. Everyone gets points in purple. Which is kind of pointless. That's unfortunate, but alright. Could have put that in anything else. Kind of wasted those. Um, the Astor. I knew I would lose. Having fought you three times already, I knew that I was no match for you. Only a fool would think otherwise. And I know that you weren't lying. Then, then why? Why do you still fight? If it wasn't, f if it wasn't you, Air Pirates, that took my father's life, then what have this last seven years of my life been for? For what reasons have I fought alone all these years? I lost my reason for living. No. It was wrong for me to live only for revenge in the first place. That is why I thought that I deserved to die by your hand. Cleanse myself of this lie that I have lived. Yes, so. Near Silence Island, there is a small doctor's ship. Go find it. Doc and your sister Maria are aboard that ship. What? Are you lying to me? I shall make you pay with your life. Hey now, didn't you just say that you believed us? You better do something about that temper of yours. Place, is it really true? Can I trust you? But uh, no. I can't see them. Not like this. Not as the angel of death. I can't let them know what I has become of me. Oh, come on, relax, Piasto. Just go see them already. I'm sure that Doc and Maria would be more than happy to see you too. Now get going. I don't have time to sit here and smell the roses. We got sailing to do. Oh, I almost forgot. I wanted to tell you one thing. Yasu, you're not the angel of death. You never were. You've always been Maria's older sister. Just ask her. I'm sure she'll tell you the same. Nice. I, I don't know what to say. Maybe we'll see you again somewhere. Out in this big blue sky. Till then, Piastle. Alright, now... Question is... I think we go back to the dog ship. To... Because we'll get a cutscene. Because uh, you do that... And you have to, um, you have to complete the bird, the the moonfish quest in order for this cutscene to play out. I believe you can fight the, you can do the fight, but you need to collect all the moonfish for this fucking Jesus. For this cutscene to play out, but instead we got douchebags that wants to fight for some reason. I guess we'll just one-shot them with basic attacks. Because they're being so incredibly fucking rude. Squish him. Bonk. Oh, really now? Come on. You for reals? Yeah, you have that low hit. Even a vice hits. How do you have a lower hit rate than vice? It's impossible, dude. He's got such lower hit rate. Also, I need to change. I need to change back to yellow. I need to heal people up. Change back to yellow. Good, and then we need to heal everyone up. 
Ah da, zack. Oh hey, it's Vice. Hi. Thanks for stopping by. I don't have much to offer in the way of comfort, but you're free to stay as long as you wish. Oh hey, I almost forgot to tell you something. The asshole came by the other day. Really? Yep. It was a day I'll never forget. Excuse me. Um, are you one of Uncle Doc's patients? No. Nothing like that. I was, um, just passing by and thought I'd drop in. Oh, I see. Were you looking for something out there? I saw you staring out at that sky. Yeah, my friend Pickle, I forgot his name was Pickle. Makes it weird. His name, my name Pickle is out there somewhere. I was just wondering what he was doing. Pickle used to live here, but he flew home to be with his friends. He's a bird, you know? I see. Must be lonely for you without him. Pickle and I like each other. And I, yeah, are like each other. We both were so lonely, with no other friends. But he grew up and was able to go see his friends. But Uncle Doc told me something. He told me that I have a big sister. And that my big sister is out there somewhere, flying through the skies. I wonder if I'll ever get to meet her. Yeah. I'm sure you will. Someday you will. I just know it. Yeah. Really? You think so? Wow. Would it be okay if I came back, you know, to talk with you again? Of course! Thank you. I don't know how much that means to me. I think she wants to get to know her little by little, to ease back into things. Someday there will be a family again. Vice. I've heard about you and Ramirez. From various rumors from sailors passing through. One of you, either you or, Ram or Ramirez, will not walk away alive from this mess. Which means I will lose one of my dear friends, either way. Vice, just follow your instincts. Just do what you have to. I know you're settling the path that you feel is right. I get the feeling that deep down inside, Ramirez is doing the same. Good luck, Vice. Uh-huh. Thanks. 